What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you guys seen my um, my little short video of me and what this channel is about for the ones who haven't been following along, my wife made it a point to say that I wasn't even smiling in the video because she um, says, you know, I just, I smile more, I have a lot more energy, but um, I tried to get the point across and keep it short. So that's why I did it the way I did it. Um, I'm not that serious all the time, only some of the times, but uh, for today, so I got um, three, about four painting projects coming up and they're all in a row. So for some reason, I always get slow now, right before Thanksgiving. And then it kind of stays uh, slower than normal, pretty much till the first of the year. I get little things here and there for whatever reason, um, it's, it gets slow. And I've tried to do a few different things uh, so that it doesn't get slow and um, it still does. Don't get me wrong though, I've prepared for that all year long. So um, when I get towards the end of the year, uh, I have prepared for it and um, it's not too big of a concern. And the slowness isn't a big deal because it gives me a chance to work on things in my own house, like the garage back here behind me that's still not finished, it's been going on a year now. Uh, so it gives me a chance to do that kind of stuff and get caught up. But um, since I've got these projects coming up, I want to make sure that I'm organized. So I'm trying to get everything organized and ready to go for these projects because I don't want to be running back and forth to the store and I don't want things to slow me down. Um, so what I'm doing is going through all my painting supplies and making sure I have a surplus of everything. And if there's something I need, I'm going to write it on a list and then get it so that I can just go from one job to the next and not have to stop at the store because that wastes time. So what I'll do is I'll flip the camera around and I'll show you guys all the painting supplies I have and basically all the stuff that I need in order to paint, uh, whether it be a room or a whole house. I've done a few houses. Um, I try to not get too crazy. You know, I'm not doing four or 5,000 square foot houses painting by myself, but I can tackle a decent amount. Uh, you don't, don't get me wrong, I'm not a painting company, so those guys have a ton more stuff than I do, but this is what I have and it's more than enough for one person and it's more than enough to do three, four rooms at a time and uh, still be efficient. All right guys, so there's everything that I carry uh, to do the painting, the amount of painting that I do. I don't always bring that in every job. Uh, it just depends on how big the job is. If it's, um, you know, you're doing a few rooms in one color, bring that. If you don't have one though, get one if you do a good amount of painting because that just makes things so much faster. I could do a little bit better job uh, labeling my stuff. I need, actually, I need to work on it. But first bins is drywall stuff. Uh, that's the extent of I carry of drywall tools. I don't do a ton of drywall, but it gets me through and where I need to be to make sure uh, things are smooth, holes are filled right, and if I'm taping a joint that is done right, there's a screw gun in there, drywall screws. This bin is all spare caulks. I do have uh, more. I have uh, two caulk guns, and one's got caulk in there, but this is spare caulk. I just carry with me just in case I need it. That's all just drop cloths. So there's three hallway runners and one really oversized drop cloth. I don't know if it's a nine by 12 maybe, I believe. I think that's what it is. This bin, like I said, has all my paint brushes in here, um, which I gotta go through that. It could be a little bit more organized. Um, a topper for uh, your paint can so that you don't spill and they don't get on the rim. This thing is awesome. It's like five or six bucks. Highly recommend it. And um, it keeps your paint cans, the tops of them clean so they don't rust. Cut bucket in here. And then I have another one in here. This is just a spare. I never really use it. Uh, you know, I, I, I've been using this one and I like it. I never, I, I just didn't have the liner for it so you can see the, all the dry paint. But now I have the liner so that's good. Um, the only problem I don't like about this one is that the roller kind of gets too far down in the paint and then it just... It get it's get globbed up with paint versus this one. I just put the grate in there and then I can hold it kind of with my thumb brush and then go back with the roller and dip it in. So I'm kind of partial. I'm not sure which one I really uh, like better, but um, I've got my rollers in here. Uh, my The bigger roller for the 18-inch uh, roller covers. I got a little bit of spackle in here. I only use this stuff for nail holds. If it's anything significant, I'll get my... Um, mud pan out and do it with uh, the drywall mud. Uh, like I said, the grade in here. And that's about it, really. I do have spare brushes and everything, and I, I saw this 
uh, online. Somebody told me about this, so I started using it. And um, I did a video on this too. I'll drop a link in the description below. And we're gonna see how this goes. You can't put these brushes in there. You can only have brushes that have a cover on there, but we'll see if it works out and keeps my brushes a little more organized versus like this where they start to get messed up. That sh shouldn't look like that. They should all look like that pretty much. I forgot to mention too, I always have the hand masker with me. This thing, oh man, this is another must purchase if you're painting because the um, nine inch uh, paper and one inch tape I put that all around the room, the perimeter of the room. Let's say I'm going to go paint one one bedroom. What I do is, that's the first thing I do. I put one inch tape, nine inch paper all the way around the room, and then I go back and cover all the drop cloths with it. But this thing is great. So I use the paper, and I've used the plastic. The plastic is awesome too because it runs this right on the edge of the plastic, and then you can just take the plastic, pull it down, and um, it, uh, you can cover like a whole wall with plastic if you're spraying something somewhere, but you have to get one of these if you're doing any kind of painting because it's just worth every penny. Last bin, this has all my painting supplies in there. These are just sitting on top because they don't fit in the um, in the bin. So I got I bought some more of these because I don't have any of these. And then this I have, I've had this thing, this freaking pan forever, man. This thing is beat up, so I bought another pan. So you guys are seeing this, how it sits. I haven't gone through this in a while, and it's not like I organized all this first and then, um, you know, started to show you guys. You can see it ain't the most organized. So uh, this is all the painting supplies I got labeled on the front of the bin. Like I said, little roller covers for the smaller roller. Um, plenty of one-inch tape. Uh, this is the yellow one-inch frog tape. I got gloves in here. Probably should replace them. Rags. See, like I have this garbage in there. So that's how you're seeing it now. Um, this is why I'm going through this because then once it's organized, I can get everything out. I'll know where it all is. Um, you know, just ton, tons more of tape that I always carry. More frog tape there. See, like I bought more of these, and I know I bought more. I didn't even know I had them in there already. Roller cover. So like I said, rags are here. I got the uh, the plastic. This is the plastic for the. Uh, 3M masker and then I carry this kind of plastic this is just a uh, plastic drop cloth I won't put these on the floor though uh, what I do is I cover furniture and stuff with those once I move the furniture to the middle of the room so that's about it you can see I, I gotta go through this you know I got some that's open some that's not I got garbage in here so that's why I'm going through this I'll be organized when I start and I'll be good to go okay there we go much more organized got all the old stuff out of there and um got all my roller covers in here all my little ones there all my tape is right there my plastics underneath there and then um, rags are here so it's much more organized than it was as you can see that's all the junk that i took out of it and throw away into the garbage all right guys so that's it nothing too crazy i just wanted to show you guys the uh, stuff that i use when i do a painting project and also the stuff that i carry in surplus that I just don't buy all the time. What I normally do is I wait till Sherwin-Williams. They have a 35% off sale. And I don't know how often they do it, but I just get a text message to my phone and they call it, I think they call it their blue bucket sale. So 35% off painting supplies, roller covers, paint brushes. And I go in there and I take a, a quick inventory of what I have and then I stock up and then I just keep it on a shelf. And then that way when I need something, I just grab it. But you know, 35% off is 35% off, so. So you want to save a little bit of money whenever you can and um, I just I don't carry all that stuff in the van uh, because it's then I would just be carrying way too much stuff versus keeping this on the shelf that's in another bin and it's just extra stuff that I have on hand. Alright guys you know what to do give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel hit that bell for notifications share these videos and uh, drop a comment in the comment section below and uh, we'll see you on the next video.